So I don't think I've ever been mad at a tool belt before. This tool belt pisses me off. it sucks to use uh these suspenders like there's i don't know if you can see but there's like these strap suspender strap things they keep sliding off and i have to constantly pull on them it's fucking annoying so i can get them in place that's what it's supposed to look like sit on your back but as you're working over your head they just start slipping down it's just annoying as shit and I feel like these shoulder straps are like constantly in a state of almost falling off my shoulder. The whole rig, you know, like I don't have the, the middle super tight, but like I've got it, you know, symmetrically tight, but it just doesn't feel like it's sitting on me correctly. And I've balanced everything. Like I feel, I don't know, I just feel like I need to take this fucking thing off. I'm just irritated. So uh, that's the first thing just wearing it is uncomfortable as shit if you're using the suspenders. So maybe I just need to take the suspenders off and um, get a different pair of suspenders or something like that. But the whole design of the suspenders is really weird. There's this extra little hook right here that goes upward. And I don't know what that's all about, but there's nothing connecting the middle of my back, you know, this thing to the belt itself. Um, it's just like this big flap back there that, that that's loose all the time. So anyways, uh, I don't like that about it. All right, now that I've gotten the suspenders taken off, um, it's just the weight of the belt itself. Pretty cool. Um, this is weird. This is, I just put my battery in here. Kind of an annoying thing actually. Um, your tape measure won't fit in this thing. And I, this is, it's gotta be designed for a tape measure, right? There's nothing else that that could be. I can kind of fit it sideways if I like really, really struggle with it and push hard. But it's just a pain in the ass. Like I think it would be better, every tape measure has a clip. Every tape measure out there anywhere has a clip on it. So put a strap right here. Like get rid of this whole pocket and just put a, you know, like a clip or something so I can just slide it onto a clip and have it right there. So that's annoying, but I did find that the one thing I can put in is I've got a slim uh, CP3 battery for my Milwaukee, so I can keep like an extra battery in here. This is the only battery, the like out of all of the batteries that I have that'll fit there. But I've been finding this belt, I'm just like trying to hack through it today rather than actually really enjoying it. It's been pissing me off more than anything. Um, you know, it's got pen holders and I can put the little screwdrivers in there, but it's they're not very deep. So like this thing ends up sticking out a whole bunch. Um, you can put markers. This just seems like kind of a useless thing because there's no bottom to it. So if, any, if I put anything in there, the chances of it slipping out pretty high. Um, but it's like a standard, you know, two pocket pouch. Uh, all I've been doing is putting staples and, and straps on MC today. Um, this thing, you know, like I wish that there was a place for this specifically because I'll be using this thing all day long. Um, there's these weird handles on both bags, like on both sides. And I think it's probably just to pick the bags up. Maybe. I don't know. This hammer holster is actually really cool. Uh, I like having my hammer, you know, right here, right up front. Um, instead of like on the back swinging, you know, back and forth in between my legs. Uh, the tool layout is a little weird. Like, uh, let me see if I can get closer. So none of these hand tools will fit in this back row because, you know, right where the insulation starts on the tool, it hits. So that is a huge bummer that I can't have all of these right here without them being like loose and falling out all the time. So you have to have them in the front row, front pockets, they actually do fit in now that's just a preference thing i would prefer all of my hand tools my handled tools to be on this back row um i don't really need two rows either you know like i probably put my multimeter in here but other than that i just don't need 
all of these things. Channel locks could probably go in here, sure, but this is already heavy enough as it is. I've got my drill, I've got my hammer, and I've got these on here, and it's already substantially more weight than I have on this side. So again, the whole like having all of your tools on one side of your body makes your back kind of, you know, like misaligned. And throughout the day, you're gonna start developing back problems. And that's the problem with every single tool belt out there. They're not ergonomically designed for, you know, both sides of your body. It's just one side. Um, so anyways, continuing on this little weird strap thing here, this is annoying. Every time I go to stick my hand in here to get anything, it's like this fucking straps in the way and it's just annoying as hell. And I get it, like you wanna be able to pull it and cinch it down if you wanna keep your tools tighter, you know, instead of having it like hanging out like that. But I just think that that's like an unnecessary thing. There's a lot of other things they should have thought of before trying to get crafty with weird stuff like that that doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna keep using it throughout the day. I'll let you know if there's any other kind of stuff that I find out. Um, I'll show you this buckle here. This actually, this buckle idea is a really cool idea. You just pinch these things and the whole thing comes apart and then you snap it back together. Really cool design. Um, but I, again, like I'm just, I'm trying to make my way through the day uh, without going and getting my other tool belt and taking this off and reloading my old tool belt and using it. So I'll try to get through the day. Best can't use it and video.